everyone. Welcome back to my channel. I'm so glad you all are here today. Today I wanted to show you how to make some high protein breakfast. These are obviously things that you can have both at breakfast time or for lunch, dinner, snack, any of the combination. I love having breakfast food for dinner because you can typically make some pretty good low point options. I found increasing my protein keeps me satisfied and helps me build muscle. And so it's been very important in my weight loss journey to increase protein. So I wanted to encourage you guys to try to increase your protein and give you some inspiration of some different meals that you can make. So first I'm gonna start with a yogurt bowl, which I have made here before, but I just wanna start with it. It's a very basic, easy one that you can put together in just a matter of seconds. This is an option that you can make with different ingredients. The base will be a 0% fat Greek yogurt, unflavored, is zero points. I love putting a little bit of sugar-free caramel for zero points, five grams is zero points. A fourth a cup of this granola is points and about 10 grams of protein. It says 13 there because that's a little bit bigger of a serving. And then some fruit. Today I have strawberries. You could do blueberries, raspberries, bananas, whatever kind of fruit you want. So I'm going to take my Greek yogurt, put it in the bowl as the base, and then add my fruit. Again, you can do any fruit you want. And then I'm gonna add some granola. If you are wanting to save on points and not do granola, you could also do oatmeal. Oatmeal is one point for a fourth of a cup, so you could substitute. You could substitute that instead and have a little bit lower points. And then my sugar-free caramel is almost gone, so I'm gonna to have to do that off camera because it needs a little bit of help getting out. And there you have it, a breakfast for only three points. The only thing you have to count is the granola, high in protein, and keeps me satisfied until lunch. Today is our second day that I'm gonna show you a high protein breakfast. I'm going to show you guys today how to make Kodiak pancakes. These are very high in protein. They have 15 grams of protein per half a cup. Half a cup, if you're doing Weight Watchers, is four points. So it's four points for this whole meal. To add extra protein, I add half a cup of this 0% fat Greek yogurt. It has about 15 grams of protein. Then I'm also gonna add two eggs, which comes to 12 grams of protein. And so in total, I'm gonna have 42 grams of protein in this meal. And you guys, you're never gonna believe it because it is so good. So I'm gonna start by taking half a cup of the Kodiak pancakes. So half a cup of that, and then I'm going to do half a cup of the Greek yogurt, two eggs, and then half a cup of just water. And we'll mix it all together. This is something we have weekly, if not more often. My kids love it too, which is really nice. And it is so much food for only four points. All right, now we'll bring it over to the stove and cook it. So I love this avocado spray, so I'm just gonna spray my pan super generously so that it makes the pancakes get crispy. Turn it on on a pretty high heat and let this warm up for a second. All right, now that that has been heating up for a little bit, I'm going to cook my pancakes. So just add the pancakes to the pan. And we'll let them cook. I'm gonna do two rounds this time just so they aren't touching. So you can see the pancakes have gotten really bubbly. So then we'll flip them and look at that crispiness. So good. So we'll just let them finish cooking on that side.
made three pancakes here. So I'm gonna to top with some strawberries, which are zero points. Kind of ran away on me. And then I have zero sugar Cool Whip and two tablespoons is one point. So this whole meal for only five points. The next breakfast we are going to make are some high protein breakfast cookies. Now I woke up this morning asking for some cookies and I was like, why not? That's a great idea. We have some super ripe bananas and then oatmeal. I just do the quick oats and we're gonna add some Kodiak pancake mix for extra protein. So I'm gonna start by taking my two ripe bananas and putting them in a bowl. And then we're gonna mix them. You can either use a fork to mix them or a blender. I'm going to blend mine. It's okay if they still have lumps in them. You just want it blended. I got a little help here. here. She heard the blender going and was like, what are you making? We're gonna do half a cup of oats. Okay, do four. And then we're gonna do half a cup of the pancake mix. Brielle was helping me with the oats, so I don't know if it's exactly half a cup. Now she's trying to blow out a candle. What? <laughs> Is it not working? Yeah. Here you go. Blow harder. Almost. Good. All right, and now we'll mix it all together. Oh, yeah. Okay, so we'll mix it all together. Oh, you're mixing it? Okay, I'll let you mix it now. You stopped mixing, so I thought you were all done. And then you can add walnuts, chocolate chips, whatever kind of toppings you want. You could add cinnamon. You just have to adjust the points based on whatever toppings you use. You're doing a good job stirring. Good job. I put some parchment paper on a pan. Preheated the oven to 350 and then just put some dough on the pan. Simple as that. Yummy. A very Brielle approves of the dough. And me too. And Malachi too. And mommy. And then we'll put it in the oven for about 15 minutes and check on it then. Okay, the timer just went off, so we're gonna check them. Ooh, they look good. Okay, we'll take them out. cookies come to one point a piece if you are doing Weight Watchers. They're super easy to have on the go so a lot of times I'll just make them ahead of time and put them in a baggie and then be able to pull them out when I need them. We've got a little dino helper too. So I'm going to start by opening up my turkey sausage. We're going to cook it on the stove. Mm. Okay and then we're going to cut our peppers. Yay! You could do actually I'll probably do an onion as well. You could also do like zucchini if you had it or any other kind of vegetables that sound good. It's very easily adaptable. Can I eat one? Yeah, yeah. Yay. Peppers are yummy, aren't they? Mm-hmm.
Enough guys, Dino is helping out by putting the onions and peppers in the bowl for us. And then I am going to crack 12 eggs and see where we are. I do between 12 and 18. And so I just will see how many veggies we have. We'll determine how much I crack. So let's crack some eggs. And you can see there's more peppers and onions in our eggs, so I'm gonna do the rest of our eggs. So I'm gonna do six more eggs. Eggs are zero points, so I don't need to stress too much about it. And this will just give us more volume so we have more egg bake. Yeah, how many are you playing? 18. Yeah, there's a camera! We're gonna do 18 total, oops. This is our cooked chorizo, so we're gonna add that. Our eggs. Chorizo adds so much flavor. <laughs> and then we'll lay down our tater tots first. I'm also happy. <laughs> and I'm gonna count my tater tots so I know how many points I have. And then we'll lay our egg bake over it. We'll get some more in now. Yeah, we're not gonna use them all, bud. Why? Um, because we don't need all the tater tots. We can have them later. Like we can do another one. Look at how beautiful it is. I also made some homemade sourdough bread, which always goes good with egg bake. So it just got out of the oven. So we'll put our egg bake in now that the bread is done. And then this is gonna cook for, I'm gonna set a timer for 40 minutes. It takes between 40 minutes and an hour. Our timer went off. So what I typically will do is just cut in the middle Oh yeah, see how it's still really liquidy? That means it still needs to cook more. So we'll set another 10 minute timer. All right, the timer went off and this is looking done. So I make sure the middle looks done. And that looks super yummy. So I'm gonna take it out and I'll determine the points. I cut it in to 15 different pieces. And so it comes out to 3.3 points. And so if I have one slice, it will be three points. If I have two, it will be seven, which I think is super reasonable for how delicious this is gonna be. So I'm gonna take out one piece. You want an eggy? What's that? It's egg. That's hot. Yeah, it's hot, it just came out. Such an amazing breakfast for only seven points. This will keep me satisfied for a long time. I hope that you guys enjoyed those protein breakfast and that I was able to give you some inspiration to keep on track in your health journey. If you could, please subscribe down below, like this video, and I'll see you all tomorrow. Bye.